I wanted to just take a quick moment and introduce this video this week so I decided that I would go ahead and do a vlog style. I didn't like properly sit down and introduce things at the beginning of the video so I wanted to do it right now and I wanted to just say welcome to those of you who are coming and checking this out for the first time. Welcome to those of you who are coming back. I appreciate all of you taking some time out of your day to spend it with me as you kind of walk through this past week that I have had. So my name is Heather. I am the host of Heather Knits, which is what this is that you are watching, and I am really glad that you are here. I am coming to you this week from my home in mid-Michigan, where I live with my two children, Abby, who is 16, and Philip, who is 11, and this week is homecoming week. And so there was a lot happening, and so that was why I decided to vlog, and I am not going to spend any more time with this introduction, and I'm just going to let you guys get into the week and see how it played out. So thank you again for being here and for watching. Hello everyone. So I thought that I would vlog this week, and the reason that I was thinking that this would be a good idea is there's actually a lot going on this coming week. So today is Saturday, October 2nd, and the, f the coming week is homecoming week for my kids' high school. And with Abby and her involvement in the marching band, that means that that's a lot going on for her with the football game on Friday, and there's a parade and all of that. So I thought this might be an interesting week to try to vlog and just kind of change things up a little bit on the channel. As I mentioned, today is Saturday, October 2nd, and Abby does have a marching band competition. So I will be traveling over to go to that a little bit later this evening. They're not performing until 8.15 p.m. So I'm not leaving until like 6.30 or so to go over there because I want to be there and be able to be in the stands like in plenty of time for when they perform. So that's kind of going to be the plan for this evening. Um, it is about 5 p.m. right now. I've really just kind of spent the day working on schoolwork and whatnot, but that's what we I will be doing this evening is going and watching her marching band competition. They did really well at their last one, so I assume that that's gonna go okay. I'm just really hoping that the weather holds out because it's kind of rainy and I don't really wanna sit in stands and get rained on. It's not my idea of a good time, so hopefully the weather holds out. But yeah, so that's what that's what's happening today. place where they had this competition had like no parking at all and so you had to like try to find a spot on like the streets around the stadium and it was like crazy I had to walk so far I almost I didn't know if I was gonna make it so I made it and my legs were shaking like so badly and then they performed and then I had to walk all the way back and by the time I got back to my car, I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this isn't good. But I made it, and I've made it back home. Um, they did really well. They won their class. Um, I think they ended up coming in like third overall in the whole the whole competition. Um, so that's, that's really good. They did really well. Abby did well. And I was like down on the field, so I didn't have as good of a view of like their formations and stuff. But they did well, 
And now I'm just waiting for her to text me that she's back at the school so that I can pick her up. And then I really want to go to bed because I'm really tired. It's like after 10 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm tired. She's not back yet. Um, I imagine she'll be coming before too much longer, but I don't know. So once she gets home, I am going to bed because I'm exhausted. And she's going to go to bed too because she's going to be also going to be very exhausted. So it was good. Um, Olive put in footage of one of their songs that they did. But it, like I said, it's hard to tell because I was on the same level as the band. This was kind of hard to tell like what formations that they were they were making. But I will put that in and I will check in with you guys maybe tomorrow or at some point. Hey everyone, I wanted to just take a quick moment and check in with all of you. So it is now Tuesday, October 5th. And I'm, I'm already starting to struggle with all of the fatigue stuff. So on Sunday, I didn't really um, do any video, but Abby and I went and met my mom and we picked her out an outfit for homecoming. She picked out a really nice looking blue suit to wear. And then we were able to get some like additional little things to go along with it. So I might put, insert a picture of that, but I might just wait and probably put in something at the end when she's actually like all dressed up and ready to go for homecoming on Saturday. So we did that. Yesterday was really my calmest day. Um, Abby just had marching band rehearsal and practice. So that was all that there was, but I'm, I'm feeling the weight of the fatigue really heavily. I have gone and gotten in my bed at 8 p.m. the last two nights and I still don't feel like I'm kind of like back to the baseline fatigue. So that is feeling a little bit frustrating, especially given how busy this week is going to be and it's only Tuesday. So this morning I went and I saw my primary care physician. Um, it was just kind of a follow-up with him to see how things are doing. Um, he would like me to go have a pulmonary function test because of the continued shortness of breath that I have. Um, one thing with all of this is that there's just so much that is not known. He said, you know, we really just kind of have to treat what the symptoms are and go from there. So that's kind of the approach that we're having. He also did give me something to put on the rash that is on my face. I'm sure you guys have probably noticed it. Um, I have not been using like makeup just because I don't want to make the rash worse, although it doesn't seem to. But he did give me something to try to see if I can get rid of this rash that's on my nose and it goes over onto my cheeks, which showed up around April and it gets a little and it, it's gotten like a little bit better. But it hasn't gone away and it's really bugging me because I don't really like having a red nose and cheeks all the time. It's not my favorite. And like I said, I don't like to use a lot of cosmetics just because I don't like putting that on my skin. Um, but I do sometimes. Besides, we're all married, still wearing masks, so you can't see my face most of the time. Anyway, I have a phone call that I have to do in a minute here and I was hoping that maybe after that I could rest. But that doesn't seem to be the case. I'm going to have to go pick up Abby from school. She has a diving meet that is unfortunately away. So I need to get her and I'll have to take her to the meet. They're doing diving first. So I'm hoping that maybe we can leave after the diving and just come home. Because I think she needs it and I definitely need it. So uh, you might see some diving videos coming in uh, in a few minutes uh, at the end of this. So... In the meantime, I will check in later. So it's now Wednesday, October 6th, and today is the day of the big band, marching band exhibition, which is like 30 some bands from all over the state that come and they do their marching band performances. And then I know the Michigan State Marching Band comes. So I have to go and help do that. Uh, as a band parent, there's like that expectation that you go and you assist with these things, which is fine. They need help, so where else were you going to get said help? 
and I have to like open up a gate to let bands off and on the field I guess. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing. I'll find out when I get there. It's turning out to be a decent day at least. Like it's the sun is out it's not too cold it's kind of like a nice temperature like I think it's like right around 70 so it's actually really nice so it should be a nice afternoon and evening for this the fun part is after I'm done I need to go do my class and I'm gonna have to like do my class from my car so that will make things a little bit interesting but yeah so we're getting we're making it through the week slowly but surely. I have really had to be very very intentional about stopping and trying to like lay down and rest and kind of manage all of that on top of everything else that's been going on and I've been doing that and I think that's really the only thing that's keeping me going because I'm really really feeling tired. I'm really feeling the fatigue. So tonight this is gonna be a long day. So we just gotta get through it. it's now Thursday, October 7th. I did somehow manage to survive last night and the, the marching band exhibition. Um, it ended up being way more than I was expecting it to be. I was uh, controlling the gate and I ended up being positioned in a place where I was the one that was letting the bands on the field to get before their performance. And when I first got there, I was greeting the bands as they came like into the stadium. And then I was supposed to like run them around the end zone to the gate to let them in. And I was like, oh my God, I, I, I don't know if I can do this. It was crazy. Then when the other person ended up coming to relieve me, I ended up staying at my post at the gate to the field because they just had this one person going back and forth and it was like way way too much and it was too chaotic and it was too crazy so I ended up being on gate duty the entire night I was like literally shaking at the end of the night from the fatigue and the strain from it I was sitting down like in between the bands like I'd get the band on the field and I'd close the gate and then I would sit down until the next band came but even still it was such a long night um we didn't get home until like a quarter to 11 last night um and I have class this morning and uh, Abby has another away meet and then tomorrow is like the whole homecoming thing and so I am 
I am I'm hurting. I'm really hurting. I will have put in some footage of Abby's band before this. Uh, because of the position that I was in, it, it, it was not a great position to see the band because I was basically in the end zone looking like eye level onto the field. So it's not like the greatest position to see them, but it was kind of a unique angle as well. So I did put that video in. And I probably will put in a video from Homecoming because I'll be able to actually be in the stands and like up where you can see a little bit more the formations that they're making and whatnot. But, um, I'm having a tough time. I'm not going to lie. This is all proving to be very, very difficult. Um, I have been bringing along knitting for all of it. I will show you guys real quickly um, what I have been working on. Uh, at the end of this, I'll sit down probably and go over all of my knitting so that we can bring in the knitting component of it. But I'm working on a sock head hat. This is it. Uh, Abby wanted a hat that was like, this is kind of like a bluey gray. So she wanted a hat that she could wear. She cut her hair recently. And so sometimes she was like, when she was having unruly hair days, she wanted a hat that she could just like pull on and wear. And she wanted it like, uh, you know, a floppy stocking hat sort of thing with a, a long brim that she could fold up. So that's what I've been working on for her is this, this hat, which has actually been good because it's been just a lot of really mindless knitting when I've really needed um, mindless knitting because tomorrow is the cast on for the Stephen West mystery knit along which I still need to cake up all my yarn for and I still need to do all of that that's not happening today it may happen tomorrow so we'll get there in the end okay so I have a zoom call with some friends in about 15 minutes so I'm gonna go get ready for that and do my class and just try to make it today. Friday. So it's now Friday, October 8th. And oh my goodness, this week has been just, it's been nuts. I am so tired. We made it through yesterday and everything that was going on yesterday. Uh, Abby's meat went fine. She actually scored the best that she has all season. It's just not a good diving season. There's a whole situation with the coaching that is proving to be really problematic and difficult, and it's not been a good year. And so, but we made it, made it through the meet. She did fine. We got to leave, we came home, and we're able to just kind of relax a little bit. So it is now Friday, and today is homecoming, and it's raining. It's not that cold, but it is, but it's raining and it's gross out. And I'm really hoping that maybe the rain will taper off later, but I'm not particularly optimistic that it will. I think there's a really good chance that we're gonna get wet. So that's a big bummer because Abby's been really excited about homecoming and the parade and playing at the game and the pep assembly and all of those things. And Phil is planning on coming to the game because he really wants to come and see her march. So I'm just like fingers crossed that 
the rain will like taper off. I think it's thundering right now. So I don't know. I don't know what'll end up happening um, because they are actually saying thunderstorms later, which if there are thunderstorms and they cancel everything. So who knows what will end up happening? That being said, uh, I am, I have some things I need to do today. I need to hem Abby's pants for the suit that she's going to wear to the dance tomorrow. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do that. And then I also need to get some yarn caked up. I have some reading to do. So while I would really like today to be calm and chill for me, I don't think it's going to be. So I better get cracking on with that. So caking up color A has not gone according to plan. We were going really well. And now we are here. Is there anything more maddening than when you are cruising along caking up yarn and then you encounter encounter a massive tangle like there is no rhyme or reason for this tangle it's just ridiculous and i'm so frustrated i've been working on trying to untangle this for 20 minutes and this is where i'm at i'm now coming at it from the other direction someone send help okay so here we are an hour later and we still have this lovely mess this is what I have successfully caked up. This is what I was able to kind of pull off coming from the other end. And this is the yarn vomity mess. I really, oh my gosh. So really working on this an hour and this was all I managed to get untangled. So this is where we're at. We're gonna put the rest of this, whatever it is, uh, in a bag and save it and you know hopefully I'm not gonna need it and I'll be fine because honestly this is like I mean it has gotten a little bit worse as I've been trying to like untangle it but it's literally like there's a a tie made out of the skein itself in here it is so wrapped around itself it's awful so we're going to uh walk away from caking yarn for a little bit and do something else. Uh, this is my first skein and this is where we're at. I am kind of frustrated.
I wanted to just take a minute to kind of wrap up the vlog for the week. It was a really full, really busy week. It's now Sunday, October 10th. Homecoming was, the day ended up being okay. The rain like held off for the most part. It sprinkled a little bit during the parade, but not badly at all. Phil and I enjoyed watching the parade. Phil really enjoyed it. We went up to the game. It didn't rain at the game. We made it to halftime, but then there started to be lightning. And so they called a lightning delay and then the band director like let the band leave. So we left after the band did their halftime show. And so we were able to leave and then go home with Abby. Then we stopped and picked up some pizza and we came home and we just kind of had a relaxed rest of the evening because it was such a busy week. We were so tired and we were just like glad to have this moment, but we had all had a really good day and it had been a lot of fun and stuff. So that was really good. And then yesterday on Saturday, it was the dance. Abby and I ran a couple of errands since she was here with me that we needed to do and get done. So we went and did that. And then she and I just watched a movie together. And then I took Phil to meet up with some friends that he could go and hang out with. And then I had to come back to help get Abby get ready for the dance. I didn't take any video of like any of, of that whole process, but I will put in a picture of her ready to go for the dance so you can um, see. She looked really good. Um, she had a really good time. They had a lot of fun and it just was really nice to see her get to go and do that and have so much fun and that was just good. She did have to go back to her dad's after the dance, so she's not here today, but I got to see her briefly because she stopped to pick up her stuff and it was just, it was good to see her. It was good to know that she had such a good time and I was so glad that she did, especially with last year being what last year was. So it was just kind of nice that something felt a little bit normal. They wore masks and everything at the dance, but they at least got to have the dance. So that was really nice and really fun and I enjoyed that a lot. So I thought to kind of wrap this vlog up, I would just kind of go over what I have been knitting on and kind of give you guys a glimpse of that. I haven't talked a ton about knitting. A lot of this vlog was about the homecoming week and everything going on with that, because let's be honest, this week was crazy. We survived it though. I am so tired today. Like, and I've slept the last couple of days I've slept in, but man, I'm tired. I'm definitely tired. So we'll just kind of go over real quickly what I have been knitting on. I do have two little finished objects to show you. They're both hats, so I will show those. The first one is the antler hat that I knit to go with the antler cardigan that I knit for my accompanist's grandchild. I need to get together with her so that I can give her these things, but it was a really cute, easy little baby hat to knit up. Um, I think that it looks, I think it's gonna be really cute and really sweet to give to them. So I'm really excited about that and I just need to have a moment to breathe to like send her a message and be like, hey, let's get together and I have something for you. So those are done and uh, ready to go. I'm not sure if I'm gonna block the hat or not. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I necessarily need to block it out too much and it's a, it's a baby hat. So I don't know. I think it's probably okay to, to leave it as it is. But that's one. And then the other one was, a, and I showed you guys this earlier in the vlog, um, and this was just a stockhead hat that I was knitting for Abby. She requested um, just like a plain stockinette hat. And so this is her finished hat. I did a long, it's got a long brim. So she can fold it up. Yeah, so here's, here's her hat. And the yarn that I used is called Drops Nord. Let's see. It's alpaca, nylon, and wool. And the color, it doesn't have a color weight name, it's just color 08, but it's kind of like a gray blue. A really nice neutral hat. Uh, and it was really, this was like the perfect hat for this week because it was just tons of stockinette. It was on circular needles, so I wasn't fussing with DPNs or anything like that. It just was really nice to just around and around. So those are my two finished object, these two hats that I, I, I finished up this week. And then I do have uh, two works in progress. 
The first one is just a vanilla socks because the hat's done, so I need to get back to my vanilla socks. And um, I'm, I think I'm almost to the point of needing to do the heel. So this yarn is from Bumblebee Acres Fiber Farm. And it is Corydale and Nylon. So a little bit of a different blend than I'm used to, to using. And the um, colorway is called Lallybrock, which is inspired from Outlander, which I love Outlander. And Lallybrock is the homestead, the farm of Jamie Fraser and his family. So there's a special meaning of Lallybrock in the Outlander world. So this is what I've been working on now that the hat is done for, you know, all of those diving meets and football games and all of those fun things that are happening right now that I just, I don't need a pattern and I don't need to worry about it and I can just go and not think because that's exactly what I need to do with that. The other work in progress is the Stephen West Shawlography Mystery Knit Along. So I am going to show my progress on that in just a minute and I do not want to spoil anything for people because the clue just came out a couple of days ago. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you my colorways and then you can see the colors that I'm knitting and the palette that I'm using and then I'll show you my progress on the shawl. So it is a five color shawl so it takes five skeins of fingering weight yarn and you will have seen my caking up escapades of color A and this is color A. The color, I gotta pull out the bands because I, I don't remember what the colors are. So this color, this is from Lolo Did It. Uh, the colorway is called Prince and it's this really nice purple. So you will have seen my problems with caking up this particular color. So I'm not gonna go into that more, but it was, it was awful. And I, yeah, not, not a fan of what happened. The other is caked up fine, thank goodness. But this one was a nightmare. So this is color A. This is color B. It's this gray color, which is also from Lolo Did It. Uh, and it is Coal Miner's Daughter is what this color way is. So this is my color B. I don't want to lose my tags. All right, color. So then the next three colors don't really matter so much what you do, like what order they come in, like A and B are kind of your most important colors. And then these are my next three colors. So these two are from Lola Dita as well. And this one is called Anduin and this one is called Rivendell. So those are Lord of the Rings themed, which I like Lord of the Rings. So good colors. And then this one is from Lola Bean uh, Yarn Company. It was a skein that I had from when I knit uh, the, is it the Igneous sweater from Mina. So this is the Lola Bean and it's called, the colorway is Calming, which is a really, really pretty, pretty, pretty blue. So those are my colors that I am using. Those are my five colors. And now I'm going to show you my progress on the shawl itself. So I am almost done with section two. So I'm gonna show it. I'm not gonna talk much about it because again, I don't wanna spoil anything. So let me just show you my progress and then I'll let you know if you don't want anything spoiled, you can, you can turn back around and take a look. So. If you don't want to see, look away right now. Okay, you can look back if you were looking away. So like I said, I'm almost done with section two. There are four sections in clue one, and I'm really enjoying this knit. It was one of those, like every Stephen West knit, mystery knit along, you have that moment where you're like, what is happening with this? And then it starts to come together and you're just like, wow, that man is a genius when it comes to shawl construction. I don't know how he does it, but he always has the most unique shawl constructions of anybody I have ever experienced before. 
and they always there's always that moment of what is happening and then it comes together and it's just beautiful and it's amazing and it's gorgeous and it's fantastic so that's definitely happened like started happening with with this shawl but I like it a lot it's really cool I think it's gonna I'm really excited to see where it goes because yeah it's just great if you are looking ever to like kind of push yourself knitting wise I would really recommend knitting something from Stephen West particularly one of his mystery knit along shawls because they really do he uses a bunch of techniques in them and it's a really nice way to kind of explore some new techniques and to kind of push yourself a little bit. Like I said, it's why I always do it because I always find that the shawl challenges me in some capacity. They're always huge and there's always a lot of stitches to bind off. So they can be a little bit of slog as you get down towards the end, but the end product usually ends up being something really unique looking and just really creative and just, it's an, it, they're really enjoyable knits. I highly recommend any of his patterns He's, he really is a genius when it comes to shawl construction. I mean, he's brilliant. The man is brilliant. So that's, 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 that's about it for this week. I guess I'm not going to go into life stuff. You've pretty much seen the life stuff this past week. So I think that I will end this here. I hope you liked this little bit of a vlog style. It was nice to kind of get back to that a little bit because there was stuff that was going on and worth vlogging. There isn't always stuff work vlogging, but this past week there, there definitely was. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog and this way that I did it this week. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great week coming up. I hope you're getting to enjoy some of this beautiful fall weather and I will talk to you again soon.